hello everyone it's your girl telly once again and welcome back to my channel i know i've been away for a while now but hey guys i'm back i've just been going through a little personal you know personal steps so <laughs> i'm back today and you can see the excitement from my face <laughs> oh guys i love you guys so much and i miss you all so 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 much so you know how we run over here right if you're a local person make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment your suggestions your requests video ideas like what you want me to do for you guys like comment down below in the comment section and hey if you are new welcome to my channel if you haven't heard of me before it's your girl telly <laughs> so as you can see from the title of today's video we are going to be straightening my natural hair and this is my first time straightening my natural hair not because i'm tired of having my kinky coily hair i really love it but you know you gotta try new things you know i told my family that i'm coming to straighten my hair today and they were like you can't you can't like <laughs> you're a naturalist like you can't straighten your hair you know what they think i'm going to pair my hair so today we are straightening my hair and tomorrow we are going to prank them like big time prank you know <laughs> i've never thought of the idea of pranking my family or pranking anyone before today we're gonna create the look to prank them you know because we are going to be straightening my hair we are going to be using heat so you want to make sure your hair is well prepped and your hair is well moisturized enough so here are the products that i'm going to be using today for this hair straightening procedure which i haven't tried before and take note that i'm not using any heat protectants because i believe this product that i'm going to use will give me all that i need so first of all i'm going to be using bell star leave-in conditioner i have other leave-in conditioners that i love and this is one of them and besides it's just a little inside i want to clear up most of my stash before 2019 ends i'll be using the bell star curl keeper as well because um this curl keeper is actually a moisturizing hair lotion and it has total control for curls and it's so 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 moisturizing i've used this before even in one of my videos i've used this before i think i'll leave that somewhere up here the next thing i'll be using is mgl naturals coconut oil and shea butter natural hair food okay so this is how it looks like this is actually one of the basic products that i got when i started my natural hair journey and you can tell that <laughs> i've really really used it it's just something little like, so remaining inside but this can do the job for us i'm not going to be using too much i'm going to be using the butter because i have high porosity and i want to include butter before adding any oil i'll be using dilly naturals avocado oil as well so this is going to save more as my heat protectant in line with the moisturizing products that i'll be using because according to the oil smoke point table avocado oil smokes up to a point of 271 degrees celsius and i think that is good because i wouldn't be using heat up to 271 so last but not the least i'll be using 100 percent pure olive oil okay from yeah budges so that is what I'll, I'll be using it alongside with the avocado oil okay so when it comes to the tools we are going to be using a wide tooth comb and an extra wide tooth comb like these two are wide tooth combs but you can tell from the difference that this one has a wider tooth than this one yes and i'm going to be using all two of them because this is actually longer and this is actually shorter so i'll use this first then i proceed with this then i'll move in with this as well it's also a white tooth comb and it's one of my favorite combs because it's a white tooth comb and it also serves as a rattle comb as well and i'll be using this rattle comb as well this i think i'll use this when i'm actually straightening my hair with the straightener and 
i'll be using my hairbrush as well and this is like my wonder hairbrush <laughs> until i get a more decent hairbrush i'm going to stick to this because all the other hairbrushes that i use don't work for me like this too. and also we are going to be using some clips yeah some hair clips as well and now to the main tools we are going to be using a straightening comb guys let me know if you want me to do a video for you on how i get my natural hair tools and equipment and materials and stuff on a budget so if you want me to do a video like that for you let me know in the comment section below just comments down below if you agree with it or not and also i'll be using my hand dryer as well so i'll use this before i'll use the straightening comb you know to make the process much easier i'll use this to actually like stretch my hair before i proceed to straightening it and i'll be attaching this um what is this even called is it a comb attachment or what yeah i'll attach it to it and use it to stretch my hair so i think that is all for now so let's go it <laughs> let's go straight into the process guys <laughs> of the procedure so i'm going to continue doing the rest of camera and i'll be back when i'm done doing it the hassle is real yeah <laughs> check me out check me out do you feel me so now i'm going to straighten my hair with the flat iron I don't know if you can see it but it has um the regulators are over here at this side but i'll try 160 whoosh, i'll try 160 out first then if i feel it's not working well or like really straightening it well for me then i'll move higher <laughs>
okay so i'm done straightening my hair and this is what it looks like to straighten my hair yeah i did not want to have it like very slick because when you like straighten your natural hair and get it so slick and silky you are more likely to get heat damage in fact you can't escape heat damage but with this you can do away with heat damage you can ex escape <sighs> You can escape heat damage. <laughs> For me, I want to have that little volume in it. So I'm not going to comb my hair for it to lie down flat. I'm combing it this way so that I can have... Because some will comb it all this way. And you see, when you comb it all this way, it actually lies down and stuff. But I like my natural hair and its volume and all of that so in any situation i'm still going to try to get the volume that i want so this is everything and if you love this video kindly give it a thumbs up this is a very good way to actually straighten your hair and be able to beat heat damage because heat damage is not something that you can really do away with if you want to sleek your hair so thank you very much for watching this video please let me know in the comment section what you think about this style or what you think i should have done or shouldn't have done or what you think i should do in my prank please don't forget to leave your comment so that i can pick up a few tips from you guys and add it to my prank <laughs> tomorrow so yeah i think that is all for now so until next time keep the love running you know how we do it over here give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content and stay tuned for my prank <laughs> <laughs>